Hello and welcome to computer programming using Scratch. Today I want to teach you the main parts of Scratch program. So the first thing we are going to do is to open Scratch which I've already installed in my computer. If you haven't I will give you a link which you'll be able to click uh, down in the description so that you can also download the same Scratch that I have. So the first thing is just to come to your desktop and click on scratch the shortcut scratch which is on the desktop just double click it and it will open scratch for you saying scratch is loading we be patient once scratch is opened the first thing that you see on the screen is a small animation the small animation you see here on the right side of the screen is known as sprite one that is sprite one so a sprite is actually a character or an animation that performs actions in the stage according to the provided codes or commands so this sprite here will be performing some actions according to the information or the codes that you shall provide so this is called sprite one the animation you're seeing is called sprite one we can choose a different piece of uh, sprite by clicking at this button down here which is saying choose a sprite so if i don't want this one i just click delete below it you can see the button there for delete and then i come down here and i click choose a sprite the sprites are in different categories like uh, the first one is showing all categories the second is animals uh, depending on what you are making the program you are making you choose the sprite according to what you are making so we have different animals here we have people we have fantasy we have dance we have music sports food fashion and letters so you choose just a sprite or you can search I can use I can choose the butterfly the area surrounding the sprite is known as the stage this is the main working area where the sprite moves and performs the given codes or instructions so once we start coding the actions that we are going to uh, program are going to be taking place in the stage here so where the sprite is that surrounding area is known as the stage and this is where it performs the given tasks then on the left side we have a wider area and this is called the coding area or the scripts area this is the place where you create a code or script for a sprite to do a specific action so we do this by dragging and dropping the code the code blocks in the coding area and we snap them together to create a program so once we reach that stage uh, we shall see how we are going to snap there for example i want the to pick this coding block there i put it there you can choose another one i will explain this in a later stage i snap it there and then i can click another code there saying next costume just place it there so according to the instructions you want you just snap the coding blocks here on the coding area so i just wanted to show you the coding area we shall come to what uh, how to program later so this remember this is called the coding area and this is where we are going to do our programming or coding below the sprite this area around here is where we call the sprite info or sprite information this is where you can change the information of the sprite for example size the sprite is at a size of a hundred you want to change this to be a bit bigger i can type for example on my computer i can type a different number like 200 then press enter you see the butterfly or the sprite becomes bigger then on the same sprite information area this is where we can tell the position of the sprite and we do so by using x and y axis when you move it towards the left you see the position of x changes to negative 108 and the y position changes to 23 so the x position is moving towards left or right 
while the y position is moving top or bottom if i move it up you see the y position increases if i move it move it down the y position decreases and becomes negative 77 so you can change the position by using this uh, positioning tool here then we also have direction the sprite is at a direction of 90 degrees if i want to change the direction of the sprite you can just click there and then use this rotation wheel here it's now showing 90 if i move it you can see the sprite rotates 180 degrees it can rotate also negative 90 facing downwards now and then you can move it to face direction zero it faces that direction so that has to do with direction then we can decide sometimes to show or to hide the sprite for example when i click hide you'll not be able to see the sprite on the stage the button there show you'll be able to see it on stage again so this uh, area is called the sprite information where we adjust the information of the sprite we can also change the name of the sprite by typing another name here it's written butterfly one you can rub this and then we change the name of that uh, sprite so so far we have learned three uh, several things about scratch program just repeat them we have seen that uh, the animation that we are seeing on the screen is known as sprite and we have seen that uh, we can change this animation by clicking on choose a sprite and then you pick the one you want for example i choose butter if i don't want you can have several sprites on the stage or you can uh, delete the one you don't want for example if i want to delete the this butterfly i'll just click on it and then i come down here i click the, uh, the delete button you have also learned about the coding area this on the left side this is where we are going to put our coding blocks and we shall be snapping them together to form a code as i will show you in another lesson